Hello, I'm Amy Steele with Desert Financial, and I'm here with Denise from our Wills and Trusts team. Today we're going to be talking about medical directives. Can you describe to me what that is? Absolutely. So if you ever become incapacitated, whether that's temporarily, let's say surgery, you need properly prepared documents to have somebody make those decisions for you, whether that's a family member or somebody you trust. In Arizona, we have three separate documents called the Arizona Medical Directives. You have a health care power of attorney, mental health care power of attorney, and a living will. Okay, so that first document you mentioned was the health care power of attorney. Let's go into more detail with that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. A health care power of attorney appoints someone that you trust to make decisions for you if you aren't able to make decisions for yourself medically, right? This can outline wishes for certain medication requests or treatment. Um, it also has HIPAA release, which allows your agent to be able to get your medical records or information um, if they need that. In addition to that, it also outlines your wishes should you pass, such as autopsy, organ donation, or even funeral wishes, such as burial versus cremation. So important. So that second document you mentioned was the mental health power of attorney. Can you describe that one as well? Yes. So in Arizona, we have a separate document called a mental health care power of attorney. This document is used if you are under the care of a psychiatrist or psychologist. For example, Alzheimer's, dementia, a traumatic brain injury. This just allows the person that you have appointed to be able to make those health care decisions for you. Okay. That last document you said was a living will. I've heard this as last will, living trust. Are there differences? There is. So a lot of people tend to confuse the living will with the last will and testament. Those documents, such as the last will and testament, will outline your wishes after you're no longer here. A living will will outline your end of life care wishes. So it'll outline if you would like heroic measures taken um, or possibly just comfort care um, for end of life. These documents are so important. How does someone get started with your team? People think that you have to be a certain age to have these documents prepared or it has to be prompted by your doctor or a family member. But the reality is anyone 18 or over can definitely benefit from having these documents in place. Uh, once we turn 18, you need certain documents to be able to have these people make these decisions for you if you're not able to. So don't let your family go on vacation. Don't let your kids go off to college without having these vital documents prepared. Here's how you can get started. 